Greetings everyone, it's Alangsor again, and this, we actually finally get some real in-game footage for Titan Quest 2. I'm still super hyped for this game, and there's a bunch of things that are not great as the, by the looks of it, but generally it looks like a great game because it looks good, but also because I really like the Greek mythology uh, thing. First of all, this is by Atmosfera RPG, which is I think Spanish, I think. Um, it's the only one I could find where they, this is like from the Gamescom demo, where they actually showed the game. And he's the only one who sort of got a hold of this footage. I don't know where to get it or how to get it, so shout out to him. Um, he speaks Spanish though, so we're just gonna ignore that. Yes. And mostly looks just at the game. I'm just gonna keep it down. Um, so the first thing we see here is that's a demo build, right? It's a Storm Warrior built for you, the intended playstyle. Freeze enemies and trigger ice explosions on frozen enemies with your weapon attack. Attack with your weapon to gain overwhelm stacks and consume them with stomp for strong effect. Overwhelm we know from Diablo, right? That's nothing nothing new. But I think this is where you start level 1, I believe. That's actually level 2. Um, so first of all, the game looks very good. Although I agree with uh, Aaron, Action ARPG, when he says that the animations, especially the movement of the character, looks a bit weird. Um, oh, he's actually... Uh, he's gonna be jumping back and forth, I can't do anything about that, I'll try. So what we see here is, first of all, this is very much Diablo, right? Uh, it looks pretty much exactly like Diablo, they looked into this. Um, it's same thing, right? And... I remember this war, there was a bunch of... I don't know the, the abbreviations, but there was a bunch of new attributes in this game that worked differently, like, I think this was Wigger. Um, knowledge, oh god, I don't know the other ones. But basically with these you can sort of give your character a direction where it's going. Film resistance, nature resistance, interesting. Oh, that's lightning and poison, okay, divine resistance. So yeah, I'm, I don't know much about this. Last time I made the video, um, it's been a while, so I don't know exactly how these things work. So I'm just going to go in blind as you guys are. Barrier. So it, you can tell it's very much leaned on Diablo 4. That's where they got the ideas from mostly. It's pretty much the same. Um, definitely not YC Pog, which operates differently, or even Path of Exile. So I guess Diablo was the big inspiration here. But yeah, I still think the movement of the character looks a bit odd. I don't know. First of all, it's very slow. It seems like a very slow game. Maybe I'm from coming from D4, it's usually a bit faster. Um, but even Last Epoch feels faster, I don't know. This... Uh, I mean, I guess they want to, with, want to go for slow playstyle. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Maybe it fits the game better than I, I can imagine right now. So it does look cool. Um, so far, we only know about the, the visuals, really. <laughs> Demo time is 26 minutes, and then after that, it just stops. One thing that... I mean, this is a very early uh, level 2, because we were talking about mob density last time. Um, because you can tell there's absolutely nobody around here. This is level 2 for the character, so obviously there is not much to see here yet. So we see some boss here, they have some a blue bar that is... I don't know what it is exactly, maybe some ward kind of thing? I don't know. Game looks cool, I wish we had some music from the game, but we don't, sadly. So we see here a co um, comparison of weapons. So we have a shield and our weapon, so this is the main hand and the off hand, and then this one can apparently replace both, so I guess it's dual wielding. We have damage with pierce damage, attack speed, nothing crazy, hit chance, cast speed, strike damage, I don't know what that is. Pierce damage, poison damage. Requires cun 89, so you need the attributes for the proper weapons. Crackling fog, lightning damage, I see. So there's nothing crazy about this really. What I can gain from this is that much like Diablo, it's an open world game. It's not like Last Epoch, it doesn't look like it where you just go into zones, it's an open world. At least that's what it looks like. I'm not sure. I still feel like that the attacks and like the whole gameplay seems pretty slow. I feel like, I mean, maybe this is just because he's uh, rank two and later this is all becomes faster, more movement speed, more attack speed. 
Um, but it does feel a little bit slow still to me. We'll see how this actually plays out in the end. Again, game is coming out this year, like winter this year or winter or like early next year. So we're going to be able to play this ourselves pretty soon and see how it does. Because I, I just feel like he's spending way too much time running around tr testing things. Um, this is not how you will play the game in the end, is it? You're going to be fighting monsters most of the time. That's the main idea of the game, right? Very simple. Like any hack and slash like this, or like an RPG, you just want to farm monsters mostly to get your, your items up. I mean, this is probably part of the campaign as well. See, there's a boss again that has some sort of blue bond underneath it. I don't know what that does. Honestly, I don't know why he skipped back there, but... I um, don't know what it does. Oh, there are the attributes again. Uh, it was knowledge, cunning, vigor, ag agility, fitness, might, and resolve. Call stats, offensive stats, offensive stats, ailments, ailment resistances. Your basic physical and mental talents that determine your general capabilities enable you to use different gear. in a given area. Okay, secondary attributes. Oh yeah, you have main attributes and then you can choose second ones as well. And sort of buff this or move it in a different direction. These are the smaller ones, right? Yeah, these these four are the main ones and the small ones are your secondary. So they got to work on the animation from the character though. It still looks a bit odd, honestly. Was that a poison guy? Oh yeah. Some gooey stuff. I mean, that looks cool. I don't know what engine that actually is. It looks like the blue one might actually not be a ward or something, might be until he does his next attack. Because it didn't go down, it actually went up. Like his next super super attack or something, I don't know. Some cool ragdoll effects. Again, the, the visuals are really cool, the game does look really good. You're not going to see anything more than the first level here because the demo was limited time-wise. But even that, in this sort of watery area, does look really cool. Again, mob density is much better once you get your sort of first, first weapons, first damage going. It seems like you are able to... Yeah, the blue bar is apparently the, the main attack it does. Yeah. Um, you're seeing more enemies, so that's great. It does look like a fun game, especially once you get into it later and you have some, some proper gear and can do some real shit. Um, it might might be nice. We'll see. It depends, of course, on how much endgame it has, how it is set up. It is apparently very much looking like D4 in its general playstyle, except way slower, admittedly. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. If they really are copying it, copying it, being inspired by it one by one, what they're trying with it. And we have Warfare and Storm. So we have active points and passive points. Leveling up a skill increases its capacity and allows you to assign powerful modifiers to it. Okay, that's the skill level up and passive traits against your characters and unlock powerful feats when you spend enough points on them. Okay, active points are basically just your ability skills. That's like the skill trees in Less Epoch, except it's not a tree, I guess, it just makes it stronger. And basic passive points, okay. This, for example, is... looks like a passive point, this one. More energy regeneration, maximum energy. Okay, that's very, very simple passive point, nothing really crazy. That's super zoomed in now. Is that intentional? Because the animation of the character still looks weird when he runs. I don't know, his torso doesn't move much. It's weird. I mean, the game really looks good. Very much, uh, a, lot, a lot of attention to detail, really, and the scenery. That's really cool. I like this a lot. I think it's going to be very immersive in how it looks, how it makes you feel. If it's really going to be good, I don't know. Gameplay-wise, it's getting going into early access later this year, as I said. And as it is fashionable, the early access will not have much stuff. Anyway, especially not endgame. I don't expect there to be much endgame content in this game when it launches this year. Looks cool. Mostly the campaign, I guess. A little bit of endgame, and then we gotta probably wait for more seasons. We'll see, though. We still don't know too much. We see a little bit of gameplay now, but um, 
not many there's no real crazy new mechanics or crazy new stuff i didn't expect it really um, it's mostly just a base arpg set in the greek mythology which is cool so it's a different setting for once it's not as always just monsters you that kill any like from hell or whatever hell and heaven um, or they spawn from somewhere else it's actually just the greek mythology it does have gods i believe or some divine thingies so we'll see how that plays out that's really most of it of the demo now so not much to see there so yeah let me know what you think of this game how it looks so far do you look forward to it are you hyped i think it looks cool i'm definitely hyped for it i'm definitely gonna stream it and play it when it comes out uh, later this year um we we can't really judge if it has enough end game we haven't even seen a boss yet a cool boss fight there is no new mechanics basic point and click that's what it is so far let me know what you think of it in the comments and if you're hyped for it and you see any similarities or any issues or whatever that strikes the eye right away let me know and i will see you guys in the next video